I'm wondering if we've got anything in. They must have taken back in. There's no safety sign. There's a bead on the end. Yeah. Ah, it's a lot of that. This is a medicine. Oh, okay. Right, this is um, a Varroa treatment. AP guard, it's called. Mm. And uh, this is the right yeah. time of year to have it on. Oh, I've got a knob. Questo è per una per qui d'occhio il cascivo. Could somebody stick oh, some, um, oh, mm. some old bits of wood in there to yeah. fish it up a bit? Whatever you find in there is some hard wood or something. Yeah, it's completely. So these are a little more lively than the last one. Well, we've got some wonderful rotten wood. It's wonderful. Yeah, it's hard to break it though. <laughs> And if you find they've got this European disease, yeah. do, um, <coughs> do, do they burn the whole... Um, Not necessarily. No? Um, there's three ways of treating European fowl food. Uh, uh, the popular one is to do a... In action, do you want to smoke? I'll leave it there. Thank you. you. To do a shook swarm. <coughs> Have you heard of a shook swarm? Um, it's um, a method where you would take the old comb containing the diseased larva away and you would burn that. Mm -hmm. You would save the actual bees themselves and shake them onto brand new foundation, like that piece down there, mm -hmm. and feed like crazy and get them to draw out the foundation and then the queen would in effect be starting again with some new brood. Okay. A little bit of chalk brood in this one. Not, not chicken, no. Well, the Euro European, uh -huh. least I've seen now. They're probably so slightly more tetchy because of the oh. women. Chronica at pure melancholy. Is she unblocked? Is she making something for it? Or is it just um, a little bit more tetchy? In effect, she's closed it down a little bit. Oh. Because oh. you can <coughs> stick grass mm -hmm. at the, the entrance outfit. and after a couple of days it wilts. So if you've got a temporary wasp problem, we've got here something that you may or may not have seen before. We, we call this fall's brood. See this, these ones where the, it's like, um, there's no cappings on these, but mm. they're, they're mm. developing quite normally inside. Mm. And sometimes at this time of year we find they do that because of the Barua problem. It looks like little volcano edges, oh, like there. So if you see that, that in your hive, it may be your 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 varroa level is up. Yeah. So worth doing a check, perhaps. Okay. Um, just a question about this: yeah. How does this work? Is it the fumes that drop down right. into that right? It's the fumes. It's um, <coughs> the fumes to come out, and and, and they sink down into it, the. Other. It's a measured mm -hmm. dose to um, get rid of the varroa mite, but not to harm the bees. But the bees don't particularly like it. Um, and sometimes you get good side effects from, from using that particular one, AP guard, in that um, uh, they chuck out the chalk food, because anything that's sort of foreign that they think they don't like, they do a big, big old clean out. And uh, <coughs> so that can gone. help the chalk food a little bit. Gone. Okay, so we've got quite a lot of brood still. Blow, blow on the bead. Um, and we've got eggs in the centre, so she's carrying on laying. What about okay. stores on this one? So. Stores are light, um, but she probably doesn't, or whoever it is, oh, there's your queen, doesn't probably want to feed at the same time you're doing a treatment. Some people don't do the two together. I don't know how you spotted it, but well done. So, <laughs> Um, so some people would wait to, to do the row treatment and concentrate on that and then feed afterwards. Okay, and this is just straws, this is nectar. Okay. So as that hasn't got a soup on it, is there enough in there to no. get them through, do you think? No. no. I mean, we've got a few crops left, but not many. We've got the ivy which a lot of people don't like, but it can be a bit of a, a sad thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
favour sometimes. Um, so should there be a feeder on this one now? No, when, no. The, when, the, when she's oh, when finished, finished doing the treatment. Course, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. Yeah. Yes, it will need feeding when the treatment is finished. Treatment. Treatment. Treatment for the varroa mite. And before this one, how would the treatment you made? This is the... Um, it's called Apigard treatment yeah, for this. Varroa. Yeah. yeah. And after this, after this one? Uh, uh, well, I don't know what she's doing. You usually need two of these. So yeah. one for yeah. and then one for so many or other weeks. And then the treatment is finished. And then she can feed mm -hmm. to build and it up for winter. You don't really use Timo, Timolo. Time have you heard of that one? Time oil. Time oil. Oh, time oil. Yep. This, yeah. is, this is what it has inside. This oh. is pre prepared already with thymol. That's the ingredient. It, it's, yep. it's organic. Thymol is organic, yeah. 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 That was Apigard is. That's what mm. it is, mm. based on. Mm -hmm. So that's Ma noi facciamo anche, eh, questo non so come dire, il sublimato. So is it good advice to so do the Apigard even though you might not have a real problem? Yeah. Yeah. Questo this? modo, yeah. I think these days I would vapore. tend to check if there's a problem mm. before I do it. But most hives have varroa. Right. So you can check how bad it is by if you've got an insert board, do it that way. Or if you haven't got an insert board and you've got an, uh, an unpacking fork, I've got in there, you can unpack some bees and see if there's any mice in there. Do it that way. And there's a whole booklet on the road.